G'day, how you going? I'm just going up live. You can tell me on your phone if you watch it. All right, hopefully that's all working. Yeah, I reckon it is. I hope it is anyway. G'day, how you going? Leonapolis here, you're a acrylic guru from down under Australia. Sunday evening here, probably Sunday morning in other places around the world as well. As you saw, I'm going to paint a boat. Did I put paint a boat or boat on water, something like that? And um, I want to um, uh, get my video up just so as I can see you on the big monitor there. There we go. And um, I can answer any of your comments as well in the live session while, while it's happening, okay? I've just got to turn the volume down. There we go. I've got it. So check out the links in the description below if you're watching the replay. And um, there's quite a few links there. Um, I'll put the colours I'm using in the description below as well, underneath the links there, the paint colours that I use. And um, what else is there? Where are we? I've got to get this to the end there, just so as I can get it. Oh, what are you doing? Goodness golly me. Get there, you little thing. There you go. Right, Chrissy. Hi, Bri. Hey, we got Retha, Chrissy's Canvas Art, Julie, and Bree, and Bree Key. G'day, how you all going? So I can see who's watching 35 there. We've, where's how long we've been? Now, as you know, I've got an art group, and um, I'll just grab some gloves while I'm here. Uh, in my art group, I get people to post things up of their photos. And the good Linda Douglas, she went and posted some photos. She was away on a holiday in Fraser Island, she said. And she was just using her humble iPhone. Took some bloody good shots there for an iPhone. And she posted them on the group to inspire other artists there. And one tickled my fancy. I've got to put this over on that screen, so bear with me a minute, okay? Um, oh, hang on, because something's happened here. What do you mean, because something's happened there? There we go. So let me just get that across to this screen here. It's a bigger screen. I can see everything. And for some reason, play... Oh, you know why I'm not playing it. It's on pause. Play. There we go. <laughs> right, I've got a big screen there. I can see. I'll just bring it over a bit. I've got water and everything. Bear with me. There we go. My son made me a coffee. Hello, Paula. Oh, my son's there saying hello. Yeah, he was busy up last night. I'll show you his stuff later. I'm going to go and clean my brushes. Now, I want to show you the painting that I'm going to do today. Where's me, um, me mouse? Get over there. I've got, got the split two screens, but you've got to go from the this one. Where are we? Uh, here we go. Oh, now I've got to bring that onto this screen here. <clears throat> go good stuff come in a bit all right let's get on with it eh? <laughs> now I'm going to show you the picture and as I said Linda Douglas she's a member in my art group page I've got a bit of an itchy knee that's why I'm scratching myself down there eh? uh, I'm going to show you the picture and there's colors in the photo and I'm going to show you how I am going to do this photo now I've got me canvas there i've got it on a portrait layout and i'm going to split it in the guts a bit higher than middle and i was looking at the colors so come on over here uh, and i'll zoom into it that's a nice photo it's just one that i picked from what she put on there now if you look at the colors i'm seeing grays in the sky with the pinks and the water there, um, it looks different in this 
in real life I can see what colours are there and the sun reflection in the water. Now as the sun's higher in the sky these reflections in the water lay differently okay. So keep an eye on pictures, real photos of a sun or a moon in the sky over the ocean or something and work out how their reflections are because when they're way low here they're not a solid reflection like this so to speak, they're more scattered out. But that's what I'm going to paint today or tonight. On, I'll zoom back out now on my canvas and let's hope I can get this done. So I'll move that like that. I've got so much gear on here. It's unbelievable. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is what this paper is here. Linda Fraser. No, sorry, Linda Douglas. She went to Fraser Island and she used her humble iPhone and with no filters and took a couple of photos. So that photo I just showed you is one of them. She put a group of them up there. So knock yourself out and see what she's put there. And I tell you what, they're not bad photos either. All right, so I want to laden up my canvas with some white and some retarder. See there? Um, plop. Now, I love using this two and a half inch putter on a brush. It's a two inch 50 millimeter uh, synthetic. Cheap as chips from the hardware store, but I love it for getting the gear on the canvas. It don't muck around at all. It gets things done. And it makes your troubles seem so far away. All right, so I've got that. Now I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I better move me coffee, otherwise it's gonna get water in it. Before I get paint on my canvas, I'll just give it a light spray because I can feel the temperament of the air. So, oh, how are we? Only a half size canvas panel I use here. So I'm going to put it on the whole canvas. I had time to come live tonight. I haven't been live for a while. I'm crisscrossing it and I'm oozing it right into those teeth of that canvas cloth that's glued to that lightweight canvas board that I made. Okay, I've got to get this off the edge there because I hate pulling other colours into my painting. All right, now I'm going to come across like usual. Nine times out of ten I'm um, preparing a canvas the same way in all my videos. But I'm not going to be complacent and assume everyone's seen every video of mine. All right, I've got a packet of paper towels there. Now, I'm just going to wipe that, okay? And I'm looking at that picture. It's, the paint I'm going to add onto the canvas board is going to have this white on it. So that's why I'm not going to town cleaning that brush up because it's already going to have white in it what's on the board. Now, I'm looking for this colour here. Now, what is it called? It's called Naples Yellow, and it's like a reddish. So if anything, to me, it looks like a skin tone. So I'm going to use that for the main temperament of this sunsetting weird colour with some grey. And I've got the grey here, so I'm going to put that onto my palette as well. Uh, people have been asking me, I haven't had time to answer and what sort of palette am I using? I'm using six millimeter glass painted with white on the opposite side so I can see what I'm doing. And a blade scrapes it clean at the end of the day when you've got to clean it and make it new again. All right, got them down for now. So I want to pick up this Naples yellow or Maples yellow reddish shade it's called. Now I don't want the whole color like this on the canvas. Look at that photo and see the way I'm carrying on here. Now my horizon line is about here, a bit over halfway there. And we've got this in the water as well. So we're gonna pretty much come down here, bang like that. Uh, I'm just looking at the picture so you can't see what I'm doing there. And mainly across the water like that, which is fine. Now I'm thinking, see, I'll get that tapered out like so. Light, I'm using the, where's my hand, the tip of the brush like that, because the paint is worn off and I can control, look, no 
paint well, is on the edge there, but I can control no paint from here is going into the white as I stroke it, okay? And you know why? Because I'm using the tip and there's nothing there, but the more I lay the brush down like that, if I wanted to, I could start, see what I just did there? I could start bringing more paint up. So it's depending if you've got it that way or that way while you're doing this. I just wanted it that way because I've got to get that gray in there. All right. So I'm going to leave that down there like a gentleman. I'll pick up another brush. I've got this one. I don't like it, but I've got it, which is here. And we'll get some of the gray onto the brush. And I'm looking at the painting there, the picture. And what have we got? We've got a, a doobry piece here. Uh, uh, and another doobry bit there. Uh, uh, it's going to be light. It's going to mix with that white and merge with there. And the horizon line is there. So I'll get that blended first. Blending brush. They're all the way over here. One more is I'll show you where everything is in here. See, I've got this um, rack here. Uh, I've got so many brushes that when you find a good brush from the hardware store and you like it, buy a few of them. And it's good to have a lot of different sizes. And if you're going to go live, it pays to have about four of the one thing so you don't have to keep stopping and starting. Right, oh, I'm going to put them down there like that. I'll pick up a rag and I just want to blend this. It looks a bit, where are we? Get over there. Ah, oh yes, pretty. Oh, I saw her pics. She's having a quick look there. Morning, your artwork is inspiring as well. Studio setup. I feel right at home watching you. Thank you very much, Brucey's Art Gallery. All right. Let's get some of this ubulatingly rendered into that maple's yellow skin tone. Now, see what's happened there? I hope you can. Because I wanted this grey, not grey like that colour, I wanted it like that colour there because I'm going to incorporate some clouds in this. So now I'm blending that, bang, you just wipe it and over here, there's my horizon line. So I'm just concentrating there at the moment, I'm getting that all the way. And when you blend, get turmoil in your blending and we've got some of that pink salmony skin colour in the sky. That's looking fantastic. Okay, the water, we can just go like this for now and we'll add bits on as we go. So everything's still wet. I've retarded it up. Now I'm going to grab my fan brush and we're going to use that grey down here for the clouds because as they are in the picture, you've seen me do my clouds white with the... Um, turmoil and the um, yumminess and all that. Well, these are just going to be grey to suit the the aspect of that picture, that photo there from Linda Douglas. And why I'm painting it, it's like, wow, it's what I like to show people how to paint. That's why I'm using it. Some people might say, hey, Ian, I've given you pictures before and you've never done them. It's like, well, don't be offended. I can't do, not all of them suit what I like to show people how to paint, that's all. Ah, I've got a cloud on there. Now, like I said, if you find brushes from the hardware that you like, grab a lot of them, because now I've got a brand new or well, not a new but one that's not so dirty, and I just want to create this darker cloud now. Up into the sky, tickle the top. There we go. Now, it's looking a bit... Uh, I don't like it, so I'm going to give it a bit more of a shape, just like that. Blend it out there. There we go. It's just a bit of a dark cloud there within the photo. And we've got some probably more tapering down to the horizon lines there. There like that. It's, this isn't the exact to the photo, but it's there in the photo. The subjects are there. So I'm using the subjects to put into this painting, you see. I'm not trying to make it exact. Some people can get caught when you're using a reference trying to make everything exactly. Uh, just see what's there. Is it a moon? All right. Just do your moon. If it's clouds, 
just do your clouds if it's soft background clouds like I feel these are what are there now do them your way don't try and copy the exact picture all right got that got that now I need the gray in the water before I put the reflection because the hero in this painting is going to be the reflection uh, so we've got a there we're going to have some landmass there so I want to stamp this on why am I stamping it on because if I was brushing it in it mushes it with that color there and some of it's radiating out here just like that pretty simple painting but it's going to be effective so we want this in the water I'm gonna I'm just getting rid of the harshness okay there we go and now I'm going to start pulling it giving the water that way where are we yep and I'm just looking at the photo noticing it's a little bit dark here now if it looks like nonsense and snot at the moment don't worry about it it's at that stage where it just looks like that okay so all paintings or most paintings do get to a snotty stage until you've conquered that zone all right there we go so you see what I've done now we want to get our let's try a little a little pouncer here I've just see how it's wet I've wet it in water I'm going to get the most bulk off that put it on my board there so I can just see how wet it is now I want to pick up this because this tubed paint titanium white out of the tube is thicker than that craft paint and just this on its own is sometimes a bit difficult to get what I want on the canvas so sometimes I use a bit of that it's just a matter of practicing how to load things up all right so we've got a horizons there so this is about there well this is a bit crooked let's make sure we get it on straight so we, I've twisted that in there caboodle bang pretty easy now see I wanted all this color there before I put this on because if I put this on and then those colors we're gonna dogs breakfast it all together meaning we're gonna muck it bugger it all right so here we go we got that there just come down come down gap it like that that's all you've done grab another clean brush and we just want to lightly pull that through the water and if you want which I feel I want I want it a little bit brighter here so I'm just intensifying different areas by going by the photo there's there's some there that's broken up as it gets out here where was that brush there it is and we're doing it again oh lovely I'm happy with that very happy with that boom all righty we can put all that in the buckets of water down there and we're going to get ready for the mid ground so we've got some burnt umber here I'll give you this sort of look there so you can see a bit see what's happening Now I'll just come back over here. Uh, where are we? Where are we? I've got to see just how many people are there and what time we've been on. 18 minutes ago. That's not too bad. 69 people watching. All right. Don't be shy. Give us a thumbs up while you watch a video. Share it to your... Um, social media can someone do me a favor if they know me this is burnt umber could be any dark color if they can get this youtube link and share it to my art group page i'll be so happy now i'm going to put this on but before i do back up here we've got to dry that otherwise that color will mud up so I'm just going to draw the horizon line area. I've got this on hot. Some air, air dryers, they have a button here. You press that button, that changes the hot air to cold air. So sometimes 
you can play around with that, make yourself feel important. Uh, check out the links in the description below, all my tutorial art paintings are for sale. They're all payable through the PayPal link down there below as well. All right, now we want this paint down here a little bit on the wet side. I'll do it. Thank you very much, Chrissy's Canvas Art. Those of you who might not know Chrissy's Canvas Art, she paints, she does tutorials for beginners as well. She's got a YouTube channel. Check her out. She's an English lass. And she don't mind having the kettle on while she paints either. I'm telling you that right now. All right. So, um, I'm, where are we? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do a pull back for a minute because i just got to do something so we, we can have a bit of a chat. I'll pull back. There's me lovely mum in the background there. I was thinking of my mother today. Love her heaps. All right, so I've got to go from here. Now, all I'm doing is, where do we go? We go there, uh, copy. What I'm doing, I'm being a bit of a cheeky boy. Um, oh no, I can just do it from here, you idiot. I just want to share this actual feed to my Facebook as well. So it's, the lovely Chrissy's canvas art is going to put it on my group page, but I just want to um, put it on my um, Facebook page now as well. So other Facebook people there on my group can watch it as well if they want to join in. So that's just what I did here now. And um, right, I can finally have a mouthful of me coffee. What have we been going for? 21 minutes. And I could probably say hello to a couple of people. Thank you very much there, Chrissy. Aurora, hi from Sweden, all the way from Sweden. Ingnes Van Waves, hi Ian, from Belgium. Uh, I love sunrise colours, so gorgeous. They are, yes. I uh, love the colours, everyone loves the colours. I'll do it, I read that one. I'm watching from the USA. Boja. A lot of funny names. We get nearly 2pm gloomy. Yes. Golly, I love that. Now we've dried that. Where are you? Get out the way there, you. We've dried that. And we're going to put the land there. So come back over here. Now, like I've said before, it's up to you how detail-y and finicky you want to be. You can do so much more to this sky, but I'm keeping it simple because sometimes less is best. And it just... I'm, I'm going to be soon, I'm not sure yet, creating a series of fashionable art. And it's going to have a lot of that to do with it. So if you know what I mean, good on you. But if you don't, we'll wait till it happens. <laughs> I've got a habit of opening my mouth too much. So come back over here. And there was a person quite a while ago I was doing live and they didn't like the sound of my caddy going across the floor when I move my camera and if you don't like it well don't watch it mate simple alrighty now we've got a bit of opening gap in the photo so I'm going to do it with this as well so there's the horizon line so pretty much here all the way out there look at that so simple that's paint's wet. I'm going to do it again um, it's not going to be detail and all that sort of business because it's that type of photo, less is best. I don't want it too wet where it's opaque. So I've done that, I'm happy with that. Now I just want to go again. What I'm doing, I'm not hitting the brush there, I'm off and then on my stick, and then I hit the canvas and come along, okay? That's what I'm actually doing. So we're there and I can come thicker. There we go like that. And we've got some on the other side. Oh, big, thick, gloobly thing there. I'll have to fix that up without the stick. Look at that, doesn't that look silly? All right, where's me Doobry bush? Where are you, Mr. Doobry? There you are. Oh, no, that's not it. 
Oh, this one will do. I just want that um, head out there. We call it a head. I just want this. There we go. A bit more of a point. Hmm. I need this. I want to get the bottom of it straight. That looks like a dog's breakfast. Because that's the water. Good. Take your time. There we go. I can detail that off camera, but that's pretty much what we want out there. I've gone and used a stupid brush. Where is my... There it is here. This is the one I was looking for. Just so as I can get the um, bottom reasonably... There we go. That's all I wanted. Now the gap between there is wider than I intended or wanted it to be, but it's too bad now. Thank you very much, Janice Burns. All right, now we can, what are we gonna do there? I'm gonna get some gray. First I'll dry that. You watch, I'm gonna do a bit of um, MacGyvering here. So I'm gonna just dry that. Now if anything, I've gone and stuffed it. That's too big, too long and too fat. But not to worry, it's only a painting, all right? I'm gonna show you how to fix the damn thing. So we'll turn it from a dog's breakfast to an artist's delight, all right? So we'll get a flat brush, grab a flat brush. Um, I'm gonna wet my canvas palette down here just so as they don't. Now that's dry. I've, let's hope that's still a bit usable, yes. Now it doesn't seem like there's much there, so I will put a bit more on the palette. So I've got all my paint up there, luckily. Now, someone was asking what paints do I use? I use Atelier Interactive Paint, beautiful quality artist paint. If you can't find it in your capital city, search for it online. It is available online. That's just if you want to use what I'm using. Alrighty, so we go from what? A dog's breakfast to an artist delight. Let's go. So I've got that grey and we're going to just kind of MacGyver this Boom, biddy, boom, boom. That's why I've dried it as well. Get that there. And then I want to, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. There's still a bit there. I might have to dry it more because because this is interactive paint, when it wets, it opens again. And I've dried that and I've put wet paint on it. But if I massage it in too much, because it's interactive, it opens it, meaning It'll make it a bit wet again, it interacts with it. Now in doing that, I've got to remember to put the sun's reflection back as well. Okay, because that top bit, I covered it up. But you can see what I've done there. I've just sort of had a bit of a boo-boo. So I've gone and fixed it. I'm going to taper it down here as well. This is, believe it or not, this is a very good looking painting for such an easy painting to do. And this is what I'm going to start teaching a lot of. Okay. 
Now I'm just going to wipe that brush because it's working for me and I'm going to pick up the white and just get that white back in there from the sun's reflection where we've lost it okay so we'll scallop that back onto that brush and we don't want this too bright on there we want it easily does it Oh, I've got to get on the other side now. Just so as I can come back this way. There we go. Come on, get in there, you dog. Bit of this. I've noticed the photo's got a bit of that Naples in with the white as well there. In that top bit, there we go. Cool, cool bananas. That'll do. Getting there. Now we need to add some little boats. Lola. Carter, hello Laura Carla. I've been painting ceramics all my life. Yeah, canvases, you can't go wrong with canvases, my friend. Uh, I love them. Everyone has their own loves, but um, I've got to say, I do love painting on a good canvas. All right, I'm just coming back here and I'm just sort of Frig digging around a bit because I'm just still getting finicky with that out there. Okay. All right, what colour boats have we got? We've got pretty much, I grabbed blue. I'm going to have the most slightest blue. And what colour? What colour does blue and brown make? Blue and brown make sort of a purple don't really want a purple. Where'd that little brush go? I want to use that one for mapping it in. So not that one, your dag. This one here. My script liner, the one I use to fix the hills up. Now, so I'm looking at them. They're sort of whitey blue. So what we'll do, we'll grab some of the white. Again, I've just got phalo blue there. And I want to mix up Get some of that over here, the white. Mix up some of this with the littlest of blue just to map in our boats. Now what I'm doing, I'm deliberately laying it out on my palette. I've got a glass palette here. Depending on what your palette's made out of, be careful when you lay paint out because if it's a porous palette, that can dry up on you really fast and you'll be thinking, why did that happen? And that's why there's people like me to try and stop these things from happening to people like beginners because nothing worse than learning and there's just things that are left out. All right, where are we? Now I'm going to do these boats freehand. You can probably make a um, bit of a stencil or something, but you can put any boat in there. Um, so I'm going to go about here where the picture is. I don't want to see in the picture the top of the boat is level with the horizon line but I don't want this to be like that so I'm gonna come about there that'll do bit up there now this is working with the way I wanted this picture because like I said less is best there's not much in this boat but there's enough to make it look like a decent expensive boat out there okay now we go on there this paints reasonably damp okay there's the back of the boat so to speak now I'm going to map the whole boat in with this color so bear with us a minute it's the only thing with lives we can't really turn it off and speed the process up can we ah, it's all good 
Got some there. Just enough so we can put some darkness within this. I'm getting a whole lot of stuff up here. It's pretty much going up with the um, horizon line anyway. Can you see that? Yes. And it's got a mask there. We'll do that in a darker colour. Um, just bear with me a minute, will you? I just got to get, where are we? I just got to get Reese's attention. Hey, can you run in my room and grab my Versace glasses? I just need them for this fine little close-up. They're the ones, grab both if you don't know which ones. I can open that window, it's so muggy in here. All right, back here, yeah, I could see, but this is such a tiny little thing, and because we're live, I wanna try and get it done for you beginners without any hassle. So we've got one mapped in there, and there is another one all the way over here. Uh, where's me? Lean on a stick, lean on me. There we go. So we've just got one about here coming off the I'm trying to stall until he gets here with my glasses. Reese is a good kid, but sometimes when I ask him to grab something, he's never in the biggest hurry to get it for me, eh? He just strides along in his ways, but that's all right. It's what makes him who he is. Uh, we got something there. That's the ones, boy. Good on you. Be oh, yeah, I can see. I've got bionic eyes now. Yay. Now, what do we got in there? We've got little bits of dark. So they're the boats. Now, keeping it simple, I haven't even cleaned that brush. We've got all that brown there. I want to dirty it up a bit. Dirty it up. Now... I tell you what, if you can really study shadows, getting shadows in the right spot is what makes a picture. None of this finicky detail, it's getting the shadows there. And that's what this boat is going to be all about, is getting the shadows in the right spot. I'll zoom in a bit more. Rightio. Uh, just Googled it, Barry. Um, uh, someone's Googled. Oops, John. Um, definitely a dag. Uh, Aussies have different meaning for dag, but it's maybe inappropriate. No, dag. We, we do say dag a lot. It's just like, ah, uh, you silly billy or you fool. We say you dag quite a lot, but I don't know what it means in another country if you have other meanings for it or if it's inappropriate, but it's not inappropriate here in Australia. Not at all. Now this has the darkest shadow under here, under the boat on the water, just the skinniest and darkest, there like that. And then we've got some, oh, get that paint on me brush. We got there. all sorts, all sorts. I'm trying to get that paint a little bit uh, lighter than what it is. I don't want it clashing with the mountain behind it. There we go. I'm just putting some of the craft white in there. Where else are we? Got all sorts. Now this this thing here is obviously some sort of rolled up tarp or. And to finish the boat off, it'll have bits of white. Now this one here's got obviously some big dark areas in it as well. It looks a bit snotty, don't worry just yet. We'll fix it up with the white. And I'm just looking at it over there, mate. And 
and it's got like a little must be like a little raft there or something I'm not sure okay now we need a dark color so I better get a black uh, spot on Reese Reese if you're watching you can help me out here if people can't understand our lingo just let them know Uh, Lola Carter, you always make me what smile today. You made me flat out laugh. Good on you. Good stuff. Flat out laughing. Yeah. Happiness is a great medicine, I reckon. You know, I live on my own. My son lives behind me in the little apartment there. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with being happy. You know, sometimes I'll ask myself, hey, mate, and I'll answer myself, yeah, what is it? You want a cuppa? Yep, love one, so I'll make myself a cuppa. And you know what? Because I think someone's there that was making it for me, I'm bloody happy. And that's all that matters in life. Now, this stick is quite long all the way up there. Bang. Somewhere there. And a bit of another one coming off to the front of the boat just like that and this one's got not enough but something there so if you're doing this painting see the um the mountains i put in the foreground make them a bit lighter so your boats will stand out you got some sort of dinky or something there and then all we've got to do to finish these boats off is a bit of um um, white because boats always have white on them don't they so we'll get some white happening here I'm just going to look at the um, the photo of Lisa Douglas is there and work out roughly where the white is but you know what I'm gonna zoom out and dry it a bit just so as um it's not gonna mud up and just so you can get an idea of how the painting's looking 79 people there watching, all good stuff. Cats. All right, all righty then, there we go. Now this boat here is looking a bit crooked. Well, I'll probably neaten that up off camera when it's done. At the moment, let's get this live video going. Now, what have we got there? Um, white. So, I had white on the brush and I've gone and threw it in the water, you dag. See, there you go again, you dag, instead of saying, you idiot. You, you don't have to be saying, you idiot. It's easy to say, oh, you dag. <laughs> anyway, come to Australia and you'll hear a dags everywhere, all over Australia. All right, let's go. Where are we? So I'm just looking there, trying to find out where bits of white are in the boat. Maybe down there. Come on. Just hope for the best here, really. Because <laughs> boats have broad pieces of white on them, don't they? And this one here, I think, has got some white on it. Oh, yeah, a little bit dribbling at the back here. Well, that's a bit. This is something that resembles a boat. I'm just lightening up that shadow a bit, and if I lighten it too much, which I think I have done, I can put a bit more back, but I've just lightened it a bit. I will detail these boats a bit better off camera, but as you can see, when I zoom out, yeah, these warm colours are good, aren't they? I think he was sailing a little, waiting for his glasses. Yeah, no, I've got my glasses now. So there we go, we got them. And now I'm also going to grab the white. Watch this. This, what I'm going to do now, if you familiar with my videos you know what I mean but if you're not I'll explain it to you what I'm going to do now is the bullshit effect and what that is 
is we're just going to add detail. So instead of people looking at your painting going, wow, that's nice, they're going to go, bullshit, did you paint that? And you can say, absolutely. So see here, I've got white and we're putting glittering, glittering, what do you call it? Shimmer, or whether just like that. Less is best. It's coming along here. See, it's playing within these here, just big glittering parts of the sun hitting the water like that. And it's just, it just adds that bullshit effect. You can do this, you can opt not to do it, but if you do do it, it's just giving that effect of greatness and wownism and ubulation to your painting. It's fantastic. See there, when I zoom out, it will look better. All right, we've just got a little bit here, just like so, jostling around there, and then a main bright bit in the middle here. This is nothing, but it's enough to make you go, hmm, I like that. You know what? I'm going to buy it. And then when someone says, I'd like to buy it, I go, ah, oh, no worries, message me in Facebook there, because the links are in the description below. And you just tell me which painting you want to purchase. And I'll explain to you. We can have a video call and work out exactly what painting you're after and how you pay for it and say hello to each other at the same time. Fantastic. Alrighty. Now I'll zoom back just so you get the, with that, I've got a big bit of paint on the camera. <laughs> Hang on, let's hope I don't turn it off by scraping the blade. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm looking. Yeah, now you can see what that bit of white done, okay? Simple but effective, all right? I'm going to, um, how long have we been on for? 46 minutes, cool. It's always good if I can keep it under an hour. Uh, what have we got there? Uh, all Ian's paintings have a bot of bullshit effect. I uh, have to, where are we? I can show that. That's just because it had a swear word in it, so it was held for. There we go. What else we got there? That was Barry Redburn, the um, Dero from Jero there. Uh, we've got a weird name there I can't pronounce. He's very, very wonderful. Uh, I'm Zika. Hello, Zika. Uh, is held for review. That was held for review. Glistening. That's the word I was looking for. Yes. Hi, guys. And from Azerbaijan. Wow. There's another one there, which, um, yeah, love the bullshit effect. I'll, I'll allow that one to be shown as well. So messages with rude words or they think they could be offended are held for review until the actual creator, such as myself, lets them in there. All right, now, I'll put them up there. I'm going to grab a Dubri to, where's that white gel pen? I've got a gel pen somewhere. I'll zoom back, oh, which I already have. Now I'm going to look for my gel pen. It's a white painting pen, and it should be here. I know my coffee's there. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Where did I put it? brushes. I've got to sit that in the water. All the brushes I use for blending, they can sit in there. Doobry doobry. Yes, me gel pen. All right, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to use a brush. So I've got that brush there and I'm going to use the white. We'll just use that. And I'll bring you over here just so I can autograph it. And a good thing about Purchasing the paintings I do in YouTube here is um, you get a um, personalized photograph of myself with the painting acknowledging you as the purchaser and you can also go back to the tutorial and watch your painting that you bought and you like so much being created. That's the good thing about it. I reckon it's fantastic. All right, I'll put that there and I'm going to autograph this and then we'll whack a frame on it. Right, so down the bottom here, get some nice wet paint on the brush there. 
I don't like using the brush. So check out the links in the description below. There's about nine or so there. There's quite a few there. Uh, there's a, I've got a few bloopers going on there. Um, there's one for Reese's music on his YouTube channel. He's got some beautiful music to listen to while you got nothing to do and you like listening to music. Very talented boy, very proud of him. Right, we'll get this autograph going here. We get an S there, the I with a flick, and we'll get Steve's little paw print down there. There we go. Now I'm gonna whack a frame on it so we'll zoom back. Now, I find waterscape, seascape, oceans, paintings like that, frames with a white border really set them off. Most of my frames have a white border. Look at that, see what it does, the white inner border? Now that ain't too shabby, is it, eh? Sorry if there's too much glare. Simple but effective. Beautiful hazy sky, the red or whatever, the, the peachy colour. Um, there's more I can fix up in that. I'll probably do it in my own time, all right? So I'm happy with that. I'll just zoom back out and I'll... How long have we been going for? I'll have a look up there. Thank you everybody for watching this video. There was what, so we got about 70 people on there, up to 80 people. Uh, looks great, thank you very much Nancy, uh, Lola, 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 Chrissy, fabulous, thank you Chrissy. Janice Burns, love your hearts. Um, amazing bravo, great, translating to English. All right, John Moldy, g'day Moldy, Molded Avenue, but I know you like being called Moldy. Uh, it's beautiful. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Thank you, Ian. You're welcome, Lola. Wow, very impressive. Uh, lovely colours. Yes, I think they're lovely colours. That's why I went for that painting there. I mean, not that paint, that photo that was put on my art group page by Linda Douglas, I think it was. Pretty sure it was Linda Douglas. So I've got to thank her once again, Linda Douglas. And her and her hubby, I think she's got a hubby. I think they went to Fraser Island and she used her iPhone there, her humble iPhone, and took several shots. This is just one of them, all right? And I thought it was a great aspect to make a tutorial for, something simple but effective, all right? If you like what I'm doing, you tell your friends, all right? But if you don't like what I'm doing, you tell everybody, all right? All the best, goodbye, good luck, bloody good on you. Now I've got to go and turn this um, camera off and say it's Uru from The Guru.